All right, so there's a lot of things that keep pulling me back in. <laughs> uh, I still have to upload the video from my church, so that's why I'm by the computer. And I always um, check uh, Drudge Report as kind of my first uh, th order of the day and scan for anything uh, that might be telling. I also usually use the Jerusalem Post and look at, uh, use that as kind of my gauge of what's going on in the Middle East. Because uh, unfortunately nowadays you gotta you gotta search your sources out, uh, and you have to verify your sources. If you if there's only one story, and it's something of particular importance that you would think the majority of the mainstream media would have to attend to, uh, sometimes that story might be based on rumor. So you have to kind of look for multiple stories, uh, especially the source of the stories. Like I tend not to. Uh, use um, InfoWars as my um, as my first go-to stop. In fact, it's usually the last thing I'll use. And if I ever see anything um, coming from there, I always make sure I find other AP news sources and whatnot. But here are some significant news items that I think uh, really should be brought to attention to everybody. Uh, and on top of that, I'm sure Hibernia Sun is going to go into a lot of uh, detail on this guaranteed so uh, I would be waiting for those videos to come out but what I the Russian spy ship uh, is it is at Havana right now uh, this is now if you remember when China had a spy ship off the coast of California uh, you also have China who's laid claim to five different islands that they've never they don't have <laughs> rights to claim to uh, they've also uh, in uh, they've also claimed a chunk of the China Sea. Uh, <clears throat> also in the news, and the links will be below. Uh, Russia seeks access to bases in eight countries. Now, if you remember in my uh, videos of old, uh, there was that um, bomber that was going up the coast near California and went into sovereign airspace down in South America and caused a big uh, to-do. Uh, this is the reasons. They, they want to have access to, uh, and are basically using, it's Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Algeria, uh, Cyprus we have, Singapore, all being asked to use, uh, have access to be able to port and dock. Or So it's, it's pretty uh, significant. Uh, you have the Ukraine, which is everyone he knows about, and a lot of people have forgotten about what happened in Georgia. Basically, this is uh, somebody sticking their toes in the water, dipping their toes in the water to see what's going to happen. And obviously, with our leadership, uh, nothing is going to happen. Just uh, empty words, and that's pretty much it. And even if there were to enact some kind of uh, offensive type of gesture... I wouldn't be very confident. Uh, I would I would consider that kind of more of a bluff than an actual something's going to happen if our government acted. We're showing every sign that we're not going to uh, be much of a threat, and we just continually downgrade our military every step of the way. Um, we have the most advanced uh, plane in the world, the F-22. They've canceled that program. The A-10 Warthogs, um, they're, they're saying that those will be grounded uh, in 2015. If we're going along the budget lines that we have, we technically cannot. Um, we, we've done. We've taken stripped down the navy to the lowest levels in his, since World War II. Uh, it's and you read in the news we're constantly downgrading. Um, unfortunately, when you're dealing with Putin, you're dealing with old KGB. K, it, he is. He, he's not gonna he's not gonna be happy with just uh, a little slice of bread he's gonna take the whole loaf you know he, that's the way they did things back then very hard-nosed very uh always basically a bully if you understand the terms of a bully that's what 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 he represents and china is very similar too so you have these two main powers who both have different interests and then you have uh, radical islam which is kind of the uh, chaos factor of the of the groups and regardless of what you feel people have always used other people as proxies to set up scenarios and whether this is a hidden 
uh, thing going on in our government that's intentionally so we can redistribute power. I don't know. I can only go by what I see. I can definitely see in the news that's not um, circumstantial. Like, and, and I get, obviously you guys know, I know certain people um, closer to these, um, so, so this, some of this information than you would get, you know, from an average person. So I have that, those insights to go for, by. So I'm, I'm pretty careful uh, not to jump the gun and start talking about something to initiate any type of fears. But the radical Islam element is just simply a, a, a way to proxy attack people. Um, we've done it ourselves, where we used, um, obviously, the beginnings of Al-Qaeda against um, the Russians in Afghanistan during the Cold War years. Everybody does it. Um, and that's why uh, Russia is connected with Iran. The problem with when you work with these proxies, the, these particular, especially radical Islamic, they have an end game as well. Uh, everybody's in it for some reason. Everybody is in it. And of course, it's the same thing I've talked about in the past. It's all about power. It's all who's controlling the board game. You know, you can play on the board, but uh, I'm going to own the board. You know, it's, you got to be, um, and these people, the radical Islamists, as we found out, and as the world finds out, they have an end game too, and their end game is total domination. And so, this is basically a recipe for a really bad stew. <laughs> and uh, we're kind of caught in the middle, and we're sitting here fighting our own battles here on the home front, uh, whether it be the legislations uh, trying to take away rights, or legislations to create new ways of taking our money, or legislations that are and new powers given to the police authorities. Um, I think it was New York that started putting that forth uh, the bill, and I'm not sure if it passed, I have to check, um, making it um, illegal to film a police officer, which is really the only, um, your only um, defense against being misrepresented. Now, mind you, um, not all cops are bad, you know, but they're, but with, with the, when you're given uh, power, you know, what is it, the old, uh, what is it, from Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility, the old Marvel, uh, quote, it's kind of a campy saying, but, uh, it's got truth in it, and that's uh, what I've said, the whole crux of the human condition is the seeking of power, to enact your ego over another's, to ensure that you have total control by having the control of others. That, that's always been, you can sit there and go through history and you can validate that all the way down the line, straight up until today. It's no different. And so when you give people power that's not in check, where that's why our government, it's, there's a, it's a conglomerate of shared powers. No one has, no full seat of power rests in another. But now that the court systems are fall, failing, now that you have judges who, who legislate based on opinions rather than constitutional law, um, it, it, then you've got a problem. And then when you have the powers that be who put those judges in place, such as the president, uh, uh, putting in Supreme Court justices, uh, it, we're, we're in a situation just on the home front. So not only are we fighting the home front war, but we're also trying to prepare and be ready if something, as I've talked about in my videos before, the chaos factor, things you can't predict, like terrorism, like if we did get invaded, you could see like the signs uh, such as this, uh, the issues, not that I think we're going to get invaded anytime soon, so don't misread that. I'm just saying that there's signs to show aggression in the world, that, that they're posturing and positioning. It's just like a chess. It's just like chess. You're putting, uh, bluffing, you're putting things in a certain place to put um, another person on the defensive, and then it's, it's a game. In fact, if you study game theory, um, which actually a lot of businesses do now, uh, that's what we are in, in a sense, in essence. It's all a strategic game theory. It's what's happening, and that's what's going on in the world. So these actions are are being done because there's something behind it, a plan. There's something. So it just to, basically the whole point in this video, as I'm going almost 10 minutes in, I'm sure uh, 
Hibernia Sun will go into more of a strategic um, military style um, analysis, which will be always good to watch. Um, this is just on this bringing forth common sense and just to keep an eye out. We can't live in fear, and that's the thing, but we can't also can't live in the dark. Uh, a lot of the stuff, I mean, prepping in essence is is based on the fear of something happening to you in, in, in a way, but that's not what it should all be based upon. It shouldn't be its foundation. It really should be about self-sufficiency, taking care of yourself, being able to take care of yourself, period. Um, but you should be able to be aware of, not fearful, but aware of everything that's going on. It's part of just like predicting the weather. You know, that's what we're doing. We're predicting the weather by seeing what, you know, Russia's been doing, the way the world's reacting um, to the United States. Uh, we, I've also put on my videos how they're trying to get away from this, the standard of the dollar for purchases around the world. They want to try to uh, get out of that system because we benefit by that being used, obviously, in our country. And to be able to take that away is a major blow. Um, and it will also make uh, prices increase for... Well, that's a whole nother... We're, I'm going to start going off on another whole realm, and I do not want to make this a 15-minute video. But anyway, I want to throw it out there. Uh, two of the news uh, clips um, are below, and you can find multiple um, stories, too, if you'd look. So this is... These are just two of the many um, examples that I found. Just food for thought, or as uh, Hibernia would say, grist for the mill. Uh, this is uh, just to keep... Things are changing. Uh, we, we've known this, we've seen it, but it seems like the rapidity of these events are happening quicker and co coinciding with what's happening on the home front. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. And, you know, don't get involved with fear. Just, you know, check your preps type of thing. Make sure things are uh, good at your house. You know, make sure you're not lapsing on anything. These are the times to kind of get your ducks in a row. Make sure things are, you know, if you got a storm in the distance, it might not come your way, but it's good to make sure that, hey, oh, yeah, there are my batteries. There's a, you know I mean? Just be watchful. Uh, and most of all, do your best. Let God do the rest, guys. Take care. Bye.